There he is going to KFC after he's eaten. Terry is here. Put him on now. Yeah. Try just to make sure the place hasn't burned to the ground or something while he was gone. Last week you was half the menu, this week you was one sandwich. And then doesn't finish it. I know, last week you had what? They had hamburger too? Mm -hmm. Hamburger fries and stuff. And the tuna on rye. He, he ate yeah. just about all of it. This week he ate half the fucking sandwich. And he was sitting there waiting for us. Yeah. But I suspect it's an hour or so before he came to us, he went somewhere else and ate. Because he couldn't hold it anymore and uh, <laughs> killed his appetite. So that's why I didn't eat anything. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. Me neither. I bought Chinese food, but I took it home and stuck it in the refrigerator. Because every time I eat Chinese food, two hours later I gotta eat here, that doesn't really do it. I get too damn full. I want to be able to enjoy my entire hamburger and extras and whatever without actually exploding in the meantime on the way home. Good in there. Yeah, Scotty probably knows. Almost <laughs> guaranteed does. <laughs> Who the fuck was it was talking about the Olivets up there that they took over the mental hospital. Yeah. He was in the office. I can forget his name. Rinaldi. The truck driver. He had, he actually he has the place right across from Cousins. That's all his shit in there. He was down to visit the old man. He knows the old man from years back. He said, there, there's nothing but a religious cult. He goes. They got busted because they were ripping the floor tiles full of asbestos out, throwing them in the bags and dumping them in Poughkeepsie somewhere or whatever. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, they got immediately shut down and fined $2 million. Part of the Moonies or something. Yeah, I think so. I don't know what they are. It's some kind of fucking. Cult. I didn't know who they were, my brother. They're the Moonies. I'm like, what the fuck is a Moonie? Yeah. <laughs> They're right where they belong. In the <laughs> mental hospital. Yes, very, very apt place for them to buy. Their own mental hospital. Incarcerate themselves in it. It's amazing how much money these religious cults have. They'll be at your door with tambourines and uh, the prime down. location up there. They're fucking the, both those camps down the street from me. They're all fucking religious camps and shit. Yeah, well, at least those are mainstream religions. Every fucking weekend, you got the motherfucking Jehovah Witnesses and shit uh -huh. coming around trying to give you shit. But you gotta do what that one guy did. Answer the door butt naked. Oh, you're here for the for the orgy? Come on in, strip down. Yeah, they couldn't take that. They took off. Never had a Jehovah's Witness again. And we get them at the yard all the time. But they're there as customers. <laughs> no, I was gonna say. Cause you got the big place there in Brewster in 22. Mm -hmm. You got the other hall down by 684, you got another Kingdom Home or whatever it is. Yeah. Here. At least two of them sold us their cars because they were going to Africa. Oh, really? Yeah, on, on missions, on, you oh, know, their religious that. missions. They're probably dead of a bullet. Oh, by now they're probably dead. Oh, they were eaten by savages a long time ago, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I 
really have no idea what the hell those people are all about anyway. I know it's religious something, but I really don't know. I don't she won't be religious, just dig me out of it. Mm. I don't know what you think, you're worshipping extraterrestrials or fucking whatever. Or some old guy with white hair down to his ass, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, so much for a college. Yeah, it was supposed to be, man. Well, religious cults don't run colleges. Most of them, they got one or two already. Yeah, they're institutions of uh, fucking brainwashing and shit like that. That's yeah, all that I, is. I don't know what kind of college. Yeah, they call it that maybe, but that's not what it is. It's a cult. Send Terry up there. She'll fit right in. Yeah, that elevator would have been perfect for the ants. I had a film canister full of them in my pocket. And if those doors slid kick shut. Your foot against the fucking pat. Ooh, what was that? We falling? Yeah. Trying fucking crazy. Dummy. Not that I'd be in that predicament dragging her around fucking Jersey. You. <laughs> oh, claustrophobia, that's what it is. That's the phobia, claustrophobia. Claustrophobia with ants. Oh, I'd have to open a little canister, dump on her head right there in the elevator. Oh. Or she's got arachnophobia. I don't know. I don't think she's afraid of spiders. I don't think she likes them. I don't think she's afraid of her fucking ants. Not much more than ants, just I two more legs. Yeah. This is your brain on drugs and booze. tour in town there out front of Smallies. Oh yeah. 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 That was this time of year. Oh yeah. Can't get in that place near Halloween. Yeah. If I was his ghost, I think I'd be treating him very badly by now. fucking places that have been notorious for years and trying to keep stories quiet. Now they're trying to capitalize yeah. on the stories. And people are stupid enough to go to these fucking places to spend a night in a haunted room. Fuck you, motherfucker. They're gonna give you a thousand dollars to spend a night in a fucking haunted room? On purpose? Ghost hunters. You know, hotel or something, go to a specific room everyone yeah. wants to go there. Oh, yeah. The room with the activity in it. Go fuck yourself. Are you gonna pay you that kind of money for that? If I do, I'm gonna tell you right now. If you decide to liven things up by putting sound effects in there to scare the crap out of me when I'm taking a shower or whatever, oh, you better be good at running. Because I'm not gonna be happy when I get out of there. <laughs> you haven't seen anything like me at 3.30 in the morning, rudely awakened because the bed was shaking or some shit like that. We have a problem. Somebody's getting their ass kicked. Pick the one because it's coming. 
I looked under there and I found the hydraulic lifting device. Yes. Now if the ghost does it, all right, I can't do much about that except give it a whole new vocabulary. Remember that one time early on Ghost Hunters when they found that one place? It was all wired up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it was in LA or somewhere. Yeah, yeah somewhere out there. They did. I think they would. They did it on purpose. They showed it just to teach the guy a lesson, <laughs> or others that might be thinking of doing the same thing. There's plenty of well-known, legitimately haunted places. You know, that have a history going back hundreds of years or whatever. You don't need to fuck around like that. Pretty soon they're gonna start running out of haunted places. <laughs> At least the more famous ones. I think they pretty much hit them all, the best known ones. They've gone back to a few, haven't they? Oh yeah, they have. They didn't do the the, they've uh, been to the Stanley Hotel more than once, the, the prison, special. the prison more than once, and uh, a couple of other places too. They didn't do a Halloween special last year, did they? I think they did. Not live though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't watch six hours of fucking whatever in a row. I'm not gonna sit there for that. Well, I usually just record it. Because I'll be comatose by the time it's halfway through. And that's that's the reality of most haunted sites. Yeah. You have to wait a long time for your dad. It doesn't just happen on command. You might have to be there weeks, months, years. Just the fact that they get anything at all shows me that's a very, very active place. Because that bullshit, standing up all in the middle of the night, talking to yourself in the fucker, you know... That's fine. Look at the one time. Where's Jim investigating? Where? Well, yeah, exactly. He woke up because the glass broke and stuff. And he started filming shit. Yeah, well, that was the Stanley doing. They were doing it all night on that one. But uh, yeah, exactly. And that one place with a picture moved and shit. That one. Uh, that was Gettysburg. But yeah, if I was on that crew, it'd be like, huh? Where's Jim? He's doing the EVP walk. Where is he? I don't know. He's upstairs somewhere. Go up there and sprawl the bed. Yeah, 3 o'clock in the morning, you're going to be up there talking to myself to the walls? No, I don't think so. Now, if something happens, then I'll be wide awake. Now, if something flies off a fucking shelf past my head, that'll usually do it. But if I see an apparition stumbling around there, then I'm not going to sleep. But otherwise, most of those places would be pretty fucking boring. Wingdale Pizza Express now. Used to just be Pizza Express. Was well, that a new management again? I don't know. What are they cousins? Not really. Did it unless you want to stop? I don't. No, care. I don't mean It's not the ghost I'm worried about. It's not the ghost I'm worried about, Mike. It's the asbestos. I'd rather not become a ghost in there. Ah, the man's gone. Fuck. The holes in the floors, the crumbling walls, and all this. Asbestos never hurt anybody. Okay. I'll get some just for you, and you can inhale it. And I just where to find it, too. I think fuck a dealer today, and they had a thing for disc brake pads. Brand new disc brake pad. Uh -huh. You're good. Halfway worn. Needs attention. Huh. Get the fuck out. It's halfway worn. Yeah, you still got half a life left in it. My brake pads were halfway worn at 50,000. Yeah. And when I replaced them at 100,000, I still had life left. And then they were like, you know, a quarter left. Need immediate attention. <laughs> Man, that's what really annoying me. They got that fucking car in there fast trying something. Yeah. 
hour and a half after they open them, you know, getting a phone call. spending fucking cash all of a sudden in a dealer. Yeah. It's never even been to the dealer since I bought it. Uh -huh. it's the only time it was there. <laughs> and, and while I was there, I got a phone call. I see your car's in a dealer. Interested in getting a new one? Huh. I, wish, I wish they had called me like yesterday. What? That's the shitty ass service I'm getting? Yeah. I don't think so. I was I was, I was like I was thinking about it, but they're dicking me around in the goddamn service back there. It's not worth it. I'll go somewhere else. Ah! Next thing you know, your car's done. Yeah. You know? Not going to fucking Mrs. Morgan's house. <sighs> Friday. Friday, yeah. No, Thursday. Thursday. One fucking day. What fucking day was it? One day. No, I go in the house to get the dogs to play. She never fucking turns on her house on. Huh. I fucking walk in the front door. Beep, 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 beep. I'm like, oh, fuck. I don't have the coat. Oh. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. I know I got it. Tops a minute. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I got my, I got lucky there. My aunt's dog is there. Her two dogs jumping around, and they know once I'm there, it's time to go fucking play. Uh -huh. Fuck. I grab the dogs. I'm go outside. I'm trying to call. I try and call Mrs. Working on her cell phone. Of course, it's off. And I'm like, <laughs> shit. She turns it off like the old man does. Yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, she's with my aunt. And I know she keeps her cell phone. So I call her. And then they can't find her in the fucking store. They're in Kmart. They can't uh -huh. find. Her. I already heard the cops are coming on the scanner. I know they're coming. I says, call somebody and tell them that, you know, yeah. hey, I was there. It's a fucking mistake. And when I heard of dispatch, just be advised there are two large dogs in the house. Uh. And when I got there, the cops was like, where are the dogs? I'm like, no, they're down the street playing. <laughs> So I got the code now. It's just not that it does anybody any good. I just, she never turns it on. She has it for the fire alarm, and she's got one of those help me, I fall and yeah. get up buttons. Uh -huh. That's the only reason why she has it. She said she went, she went out the door because she's got a key she keep chain uh -huh. that, that turns it on and off. Oh, yeah. And she said she thought he heard, she heard something, but she didn't pay any attention to it <laughs> when she left. I said, yeah, well, you turned the alarm on. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Somebody in the road? Yes. Dorothy. Where? The vest. What vest? The oh! Orange vest. That's my sister. Oh, I didn't even see it. Well, I saw her at the yard a few weeks ago yelling at Pat. <laughs> now I have time to fix my car. You have too many things going on. I'm going to have to take it somewhere. I got a ticket. I got a ticket. I got a ticket. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'll buy a new one. And she couldn't back the car out of the damn yard. Oh yeah? 
Or did you buy that just for the Mustang? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, it's easier than going outside. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I still take that aside because of the dust, but this way I have to keep fucking buying sand and I'm getting all full of sand myself. Yeah, they're not that bad. Sand them down. Yeah. Same shade of paint you used the first time? Yeah, I mean, what he. Yeah, the white blue? Yeah. When he painted it, he put a coat on it. I think it was more of a darker blue. Oh. Because I, I re he painted these uh -huh. and I repainted them. You can see this is almost like this. Yeah. A little bit brighter. Repainted that, you know. Yeah, I sandblasted all this shit in that thing. Getting there. What about the manifolds? I'm gonna do those. I'm, I bought the paint for it. It's header paint. I'm gonna look up and see about that's cast iron. Yeah. But it's 1200 degrees. I'm like, fuck it. I'll sandblast those down. And I'll just use the. I was gonna use the stove paint. It's 1200 degrees too. I'm yeah. Like, Same shit. Should be all right. So I always use it. Never lasts that long, but it lasts a while. There's some shit you can put on there, but you got it's a. You got to heat it to like 400 degrees for so many hours, and then you got to heat it to 800 Fuck degrees. That. It smokes like a mother. Okay, <laughs> Little cat toys yeah, in here. It's uh, Spikey's personal. Ah. Personal little thing I have down there. Yeah, I know, I've caught him here a few times. Not under the couch today? I don't see it. No, he's in the cat uh, house. <laughs> he's in the little drum. Oh, yeah. Look at that, are you? Hi, Spiky! Oh, we're in the middle of Spiky. Spiky, buddy. You're gonna have a playmate pretty soon. Yeah. We got a shadow kitty to bring up here for you to play with. <laughs> what are you doing in there, huh, buddy? Huh? That spike. Yeah, where are you? Hey, that buddy. Hello. Hey, where's my other buddy? Is that him? Oh, I stepped on his <laughs> shoe. Damn it. Huh? What's the matter, buddy? You're not feeling well again? This is Mr. Sickly. Oh. Uh, my days are numbered, I think. Uh-oh, I don't say that out loud. Peony. Yeah. Going to the great kitty heaven in the sky, huh? Oh. Poor little guy. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, he's in here too? No, he's going for the food dish. Oh. Hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I can feel a lot of bones. Yeah. I thought he gained weight, but he lost a quarter. Apparently. Yeah. Oh, poor buddy. Yeah. Huh? Hey buddy, you can bad this leap. And where are the other little delinquents hiding? Anybody in the drawer today? Oh wow. Wow, he never did come out the whole time I was standing there? Is that yeah. Oops. Domino. 
Who's growling? Who's growling? Oh. Not Domino. Must be somebody else pretty close by. Now let's go to the other hidey spot. <laughs> Maybe bolts and he has me coming. Oh, yes. Oh, we have a lump other than a mattress that hisses. <laughs> Big time. What? Into the unzippered pillowcase. <laughs> Stays in with the actual pillow. I don't know who's under there. That'd be corner or shadow. That's shadow. There's it's only shadow. one here. There's only one lump. Uh, yeah. She's probably she was here. Shadow. Oh, poor little guy. Oh no! Ah, oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Boom, he was gone. What are you running away for, buddy? I was gonna do them, I'll grab you, that's all. All right. Now where are you running away to, huh? I'll get you again later. Well, you know what tomorrow is. Walking Dead, season four is it? Or five? Episode one. I think it's season four, episode one. Shaddy, now I'm trying to move the covers on here. Is it? Ha! <laughs>